God damn it, who keeps making this shit? Why does it keep getting green lit? Not the bananas, the anime. I wanted to make that clear. So, there's these two shows, right, that are new, new shows. Well, I say new. One of them's, I think, new, at least the concept for it's new. The other one, um, not really so much. The whole concept for the show is not really new in a way as it is recycled. Uh, and that is the show with the long name of I don't want to get hurt, so I'm going to dump all my points into defense. That That's a show uh, that if you've ever seen Sword Art Online, brings back um, some somewhat unpleasant memories of that show. It's a, if you don't know what it is, it's a virtual reality MMO anime, and uh, I don't know, those are hit or miss to me. Um, I'm not really too keen on them. I mean, I think SAO did it well, and that's saying something, because, um, you know, SAO is one of the most hated anime in the anime world, um, although that is subjective. A lot of people love it. I wanted to see it do well. It didn't do well at all. Um, I like the characters and the relationships that the characters formed, but other than that, and the music, the music wasn't bad either. The music was good. The music was actually the best part of the whole show, actually, now that I think about it. Um, yeah, there were several plot holes in Sword Art Online that were sort of, um, shit, we only have like three episodes left and we need to resolve this plotline quick. What do we do? perfect you know they just kind of rushed to a conclusion with that show but anyway this this um this new one this uh i don't want to get hurt uh m s a o v2 let's call it um because that's pretty much kind of what it it's sword art online without the swords or the art if that makes any sense at all to anybody um <laughs> So, this girl, she's like new to uh, MMOs and VR MMOs, and she get, buys this headset, and her friend tells her to play it. She's like, I don't know, I really want to play with you, I don't want to play alone. And her friend's like, oh, you should play alone. I've got a lot of homework to do in the real world. You go have fun in the virtual world. So, she does, and she doesn't want to get hurt, and she dumps all of her points into defense and she's a very uh, it's very hard to watch as somebody who's played a lot of MMOs and a lot of D&D &D, you don't dump every single point into defense for some of them you can't like you have to evenly distribute your points or somewhat evenly but you can't just dump all your points into one skill set you can focus on, you know, improving one set of skills as you progress through the games, but you can't just point dump from the beginning, I don't think. Anyways, at least that's, although that's not how RuneScape worked, but that's, you know, whatever. Uh, not going to go there, but this, this show definitely brings back a lot of memories of Sword Art Online. Um... The character, I don't even remember her first, her name. Maple, that's her name in the game and in the real world. But her in the real world, her name is the Japanese name for Maple. It's too convoluted. Oh, it's too complicated. And it's also been a while since I've seen the episode. So I really don't remember much about it. But I remember that it was sort of... Eh. Eh. I don't know. I it was kind of difficult to watch to see her dump all of her points into one skill set but also interesting because because of that she develops an immunity to pretty much any sort of 
attack. So she's essentially a tank. Like, a tank tank. Like, if... Like, the tank that any tank could dream of being. That is what she is. She is, like, virtually indestructible. She's like the Hulk of this world. You know, she gets like a rare item right off the bat. And it's like, alright, how does your level character even be able to use that item at such a low level? Because a lot of MMOs, if you played an MMO, you'll know that, especially in Dungeons and Dragons, uh, you can only use certain items if you're a certain level. Level locking, I like to call that. Like, you can only use a certain item once you get to a certain level. You know, it's one of those things that MMOs do to prevent players that are um, new to the game from destroying everything and everyone. They want you to get a little bit of experience with the lower level items, so they level lock things away until you reach a certain level. And then they trust you a little bit more with the certain higher powered weapons and stuff that uh, that they have in the game. So she gets a really rare item and a really powerful item sort of right off the bat, which kind of makes me question what kind of MMO this is. So the overall rating, because I've only seen the first episode of the show, so there's not much I can really talk about in ways of in-depth reviewing. So for right now, I'm going to give the show a four because it's not the worst, but it also reminds me of Sword Art Online a little bit too much. So I think a four is a decent score for right now. I might come back and re-review it once I see more episodes. Um, so it gets a four. I think that's a very fair first rating uh, for it from, from me. Um, so segueing carefully into the next anime that I've seen. Uh, it was the Interspecies Review, which is kind of ironic now that I think about it. Um, but that show was also put out by the same production company that made um, the MMO, the SAOV2, the, uh, I think it's Katakawa, and they also made ID as well. They also do id which is another one of my favorite shows i've seen four four and a half episodes of that and i love that show it's very mind-blowing it's very interesting it's a very good anime i'll do another review on that one later on but um interspecies review is a very adult themed anime because it's a very adult themed manga uh i wouldn't say it's a hentai anime I wouldn't say it's a hentai, but it's close to that. Uh, they don't show anything, um, and in the show it's censored, uh, but I'm pretty sure in the manga it is not censored. So take that how you will. Um, so if you're kind of okay with uh, sexual innuendos and uh, references to sex, sexual references, um, kind of sort of sexual activities without being 100% sexual. Um, it's a good anime. The animation's decent. The plot line is a very strong plot line. It's something I haven't seen. It's set in a fantasy world, hence the name, multi or uh, interspecies review. They don't go around. Um, I'm not gonna I'm not going to elaborate on that any further, but um, they it's basically these three and then later on four characters that go around and review um, their sexual experiences with uh, other species. Um, there's a human who likes elves. He has a thing for elves. Uh, there is a elf who has a thing for humans. There's a, a, a lizard person who, I don't know if he has a thing or it has a thing, but 
might find that out in later episodes. And then uh, halfway through, they find a um, angel who fell down from heaven, and it's Halo cracked, and they say it, and I will elaborate on that a little further. But uh, their Halo broke, and they cannot return to heaven until it heals, which might take the course of the entire series or season. Maybe series, maybe it'll never heal. I don't know. I haven't seen the whole thing yet. Probably because there's only like three episodes out. And I don't have all the time in the world to, to watch all the anime in the world. So I don't know the whole, if that's going to extend throughout the entire series of the show. If it's just going to be a one series show, uh, like a 12 episode thing one and done sort of one season and done kind of thing or if it's going to be a multi-series thing i don't see how they can drag it out for multiple series without it getting old and eventually repetitive sort of like me with my videos but um either way it's it's a good anime and i, I mentioned that i would talk about the angel who fell from heaven with the broken halo um to in order to not be a part of in order to not be sexed up or hit on by these other three main characters uh, she uh, says that she has um, a, one of these if you know what I mean so to prove it she shows them her thing her banana they're like, oh, okay, well, come on with us. And she joins the reviews, and it's basically these, they sit in a bar, well, the angel gets a job at the bar, and then the other three um, go to the section where they can pick who they want to have for the night and review them. And then they go back to the bar and post their reviews, and they get paid for them. So basically a blogger which is okay, fine, something I've never seen. Sort of like Goblin Slayer, but instead there's no goblins yet. And instead of killing the goblins, they do um, things with the goblins. And the goblins are multiple species of different creatures. So uh, watch it if you feel like it. Don't if you don't. And I'll see you guys in the next video. And until then, keep watching anime.